Oh, well, due to problems with modern technology, we have to do old cam the old-fashioned way again. Uh, post office, yet another government-supported business is broken, can't meet its obligations. Uh, they, the reason why it's, it's a good one on Labor Day, the reason why it's broke, it can't afford the union benefits that they've been giving out. The, uh, you know, and then, the, uh, you know, they, they basically say, well, because we don't, we don't have the volume we're used to. Well, they've raised prices, and they keep wanting to do cutbacks. But when they come down to it, the reason they're broke is because they owe five and a half billion dollars right now in union benefit payments. They can't make this month, and they're wanting the government to make it all up. Uh, and uh, basically, oh, here's a good one. Who would have thought that? I mean, Bill O'Reilly must be very proud. And, uh, you know, the people over at Fox that worship the ground that the president works, well, walks on. Bill O'Reilly doubled down today. I mean, uh, President Obama doubled down. Basically, it's now the unions are going to take back this country from everybody else. I mean, it's just unbelievable. The speech that he made today, it's just one attack after another on the people of this nation of businesses. And here's one. Who would have thought? Libya is now turning into a strict jihadist Muslim state, and they're going to, they're threatening to attack the United States from Libya. But don't worry, the United Nations, uh, you know, are going to solve the problem. Oh, that's when they, right before Obama spoke today, the Teamsters Union said, we're going to take out the Tea Party members and anyone that stands against the union in this nation, and they're going to take back this country for the union worker. Uh, yeah. Nothing like, but don't worry, the Republicans have said far worse things about Obama and, and black people. So what the, what the people around the president are saying, that's just nothing important. So much for the civility, because he's a, he's a union organizer, folks. I mean, the guy, you know, but, uh, here's one. This is from the who was your thought category also. MD, MDA Telethon has proved that even... It's even greater when it's shorter, and it brings in more money than when Lewis was host. And you figure, well, since none of this can actually be in the world of reality, because when you cut back the time, you cut back the time it takes to bring the money in, and therefore can make money. So I figure the Obama, Obama organization must be involved with their Obama math. Um, uh, but here's one, too. Obama missed the reason the economy is bad and unemployment not going down anytime soon is because of Bush and the Republicans. We have to get rid of Bush and the Republicans and we can rebuild the economy. But he's also figuring um, uh, that the economy is not going to grow, unemployment is not going to go down, and he's going to run on the great things. I heard these great things. We've got you. We have, you know, we're, 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 teaching businesses a lesson. We're going to give you more Obamacare. We're going to give you more government programs. We're going to do more government jobs. And that's going to help stimulate the economy. But um, at the same time, uh, Obama is considered the most compromising president in modern presidential history, basically. Uh, he's done everything but steal the pants from the Republicans. The Republicans have got nothing. Well, they, they, he reduced his smog thing. No, if you listen carefully to what he said, that he would put it off. He would put the EPA's things off until after the fall election. But he also said that if other organizations, other government organizations, step in, that he has to take that can take consideration of them one at a time. Which means the uh, things are coming no matter what. Um, said, uh, could Obama have done anything different to create jobs and improve the economy? No, because George Bush and Republicans are running the country into the ground. Um, and, uh, out of this, I did hear one of the Democrats that yesterday in the news they'll say that the President of the United States and all the people over at Fox Business and the Wall Street Journal who basically kissed the rear end of the President of the United States. Um, you know, it is not a double dip recession because the first one never really ended, and it didn't really end because the President of the United States was artificially making things look better than what they were. If they had done that, the recession would have continued and it would have ended. So therefore, we're, we're in, still in the same recession and are waiting for, the, waiting for it to bottom out. And if he, if he puts it, Democrats are demanding $1 trillion more money to be stim, put in the stimulus in order to get this country going because they, if, it, if it didn't work before and it, it's not likely to work again, let's keep doing it. Uh, out of this, though, Dick Cheney, the uh, U.S. would be different if Hillary was president. Well, probably because she wouldn't have done all these stupid things business-wise because the Clintons are all about making money. And they make money from the from the uh, private, you know, from the public, from the private sector, not the public sector, like Obama was being done. 
Uh, now, now here's more on uh, HP. You know, on HP, basically, they actually came out and said that downsizing their company is going to be good for HP, and that they're going to look at themselves as entrepreneurs. They're going to start a whole new business model and build greater from what they were. Well. Considering HP and everything they're doing is built around computers and no one wants the computer business, which means if you buy Toshiba's and HP's, you're screwed. So why would anybody want to buy them? No, there's no market for their computer system out there. Uh, like two, two illegals deny terrorism and face 30 years in prison for what they've done, but don't worry because the President of the United States is releasing all the illegals in this country because if you're here, if you're an American citizen you do something wrong, that's a no-no, but if you're an illegal alien under this president, he rewards you for it. Uh, here's a good one. You know, a lot of Obama news today. Uh, and another method to destroy a nation uh, in the face of others They've ordered Swiss banks to turn over all information to Americans which counts in their banks, which basically told them to go drop dead because <coughs> they only have to turn over everything. Any, the reason why people do banking in Switzerland is so they don't have to have their information turned over. And he, he doesn't, but, you know, but he's pro-business, though. Uh, uh, basically, a slowdown in core, a new threat for the Eurozone. I know. Okay, uh... Uh, another one of the miracles was must be an Obama miracle because Hurricane Cat, uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, actually Hurricane Irene is once is once again becoming of hurricane strength. Let's see, um, since you can't become a hurricane in the North Atlantic, you know, I guess nobody bothers to read over there either. Um, so Obama and others are suddenly rolling out jobs plans because of the fact that. They realize, you know, the Obama administration has realized, oh, good, maybe we should have created jobs and then did health care. Because now we've got health care and we've got no jobs, which means the people are not going to hire anybody because we've got health care and there's no more jobs. But, um, and then we got them. The being rebels say talks to a stronghold surrender are felt. Well, yeah, all you want to do is you want to surrender to get killed. I mean, at least if you fight, you got a chance of staying alive. If you surrender, they're going to kill you, folks. That's how it works. <clears throat> New data bill shows risk of online health records. Well, because there isn't a way of protecting anything on the Internet, but Obama doesn't care. Obama feels that the best way to cut costs is to have every record for every person put on the Internet, uh, we're on a, you know, our, in the cloud to where the government can basically control all this stuff so none of it will get out. So... Uh, culinary school graduates, grads file suit, claim they were ripped off. Well, I'll put it this way. Uh, well, my family's in the restaurant business. We know that when you go to a culinary school, the odds are slim and none you're going to get a top chef job. What you do, you want to be a chef, you can go to one of these things, you're like a city college, learn to be a cook, and then go take a job at a, at a restaurant, ordinary restaurant. They're always hiring cooks, folks. You hire cooks, then you go... You know, you can work their way up from a cook to a chef. That, that's how it's one of the old world. You just don't go to college, um, learn how to be a chef, and then get a job as a top chef anywhere. It never, never has worked, never will. But um, here you go. I, you know, it shows the dwindling strength of unionization. What you really want to do is strike in a recession, because when you strike in a recession, you're going to get everything you demand. What they do is they just replace you. I mean, right down the street from me, the grocery workers are getting ready to go on a disastrous strike. It's not like they can't be replaced by armies of people, but then again, they've also, I've got this, I've seen, the, uh, you know, the, the little wind is being broken and stuff on automobiles over by the one of the, the, the grocery stores anyway of people looking for the jobs. So unions play nasty, folks. Um, uh, Susan Lou, she riffs ABC exactly over all my children's cancelization. Well, because they basically, they, the networks are cutting corners. Basically, it's easier to put reality on or talk. But there's no expense to it than it is to do a script or show anymore. Oh, and I love this one. According to the National Press, the Tea Party voting its way in the 212 GOP race. Well, what they got is this weird idea is that you should actually stop spending money. And that doesn't go along with the political movement out there. So, uh, uh, I know. Yeah, like there's nothing wrong with America the more government spending can't fix. Well, that's the, that's the attitude problem. The problem is they're spending too much money, and they won't stop spending money, and that's one of the reasons we got a problem. Uh, we have a money bottle now off the market for the animal kingdom. 
when you see one wearing uh, wearing a t-shirt that says they know everything and they don't know you then they don't know everything do they